It's uh, it's time we continued. our work. Okay, so yesterday we were working on uh, the former carrying one. This morning I've been trying to work on the uh, the wood ants to get them into the same position as the other ones. The wood ants are a bit more complicated, so quite a bit more thought. Um, However, we've also got another couple of uh, things to do today. So, we are back in the formicarium lab. Let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do today is just take a look at the... Uh, the gateway to setup. I believe I've replaced all occurrences of these. Yeah, there's no, there's no reference, there's no reference to these. Get rid of them. The former carrying two is a bit longer, so we'll have to see what comes up as we work our way through this. So there's the first wave. I'm not changing anything to do with that. Already we've got the difficulty settings set up. I went through them a little bit earlier, made some basic decisions or copied stuff from the first one. Okay, um, second wave. Seed break. Like I say, I don't need to change anything there. Anything there. Roof a wave. That's the setup from earlier. Um, there's something I've done with the roofers, which I want to copy onto the other things. And I'll quickly show you what it is. So... Here, what I've done, uh, obviously, is the three different types, and so I've made it basically sequentially go through the three different types, but that's not needed for anything else. Uh, what I've done here is um, it's basically choosing the the level so level one two and three ants it's choosing the level that's got the most ants in it and spawning that always so it will it will spawn if this say 20 melee would ant no, no if there's 20 level threes 30 level twos and 40 level ones it will first of all spawn 40 level ones then it'll do level one and twos until they match the level three work values and then it'll spawn one two three in kind of a sequential order so it should mix up the variety a bit more, but it'll always spawn the whichever has the maximum first, which will normally be level ones. Not always though, in some of the insane ones, I've got more level threes. Okay, so I want to essentially copy this into the black ants and the form corruptor. So tube black ants. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, though. So, shouldn't be set to wood ant level to spawn. It should be set to blah 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 blah. There we are. Black ant level to spawn. Uh, 
And I think that's all that needs to be done. trying to think no there's no it's only one one type yeah that's fine that's fine that's all that needs to be done here because it's looking at the maximum one Because it's looking at the maximum one. Uh, when the maximum one is not greater than zero, that's the point where everything's zero in the array. Oh, the other thing I need... I don't need to do that, actually. Because I've got a return node on the other ones, but I don't actually need it in this. But the return node's to do with having three different types of and. That said, I'm going to have to keep my eye on it because there is something I'm not quite sure how it's going to behave. Okay, so once we've done this with the black ants and the Formica Raptor, see what this will do as well is this will mix up the... Um, the constant spawns. So in the constant spawns, you should get a level one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I think you should. No, it's not true. You'll get whatever's highest first until they match. Right, I'm going to need to put some thought into the constant spawns. Um, I need to put some more thought into the constant spawns. What it, what it might be worth doing on the constant spawns is on easy and normal, just having them level one completely. On normal and insane and a hard and hard have level one two one two and an insane have one two three one two three one two three that's easy enough Okay, so next I need to do that with the with the form with the thief ants. Tube. Tube thief ant. Okay, so uh, the selected array element gets set there. Yeah, that's cool. At the point of the constant spawns as well, we don't actually need to go back to the previous setup, so. Yeah, I've, I've got a plan for that. We'll We'll tackle it when we get there.
Right, as soon as I've done this, I'll take that on. done okay so the next thing I, I wanted to do was um, was the uh, the um, constant spawn levels so this again is going to be Uh, I need to t tackle this on gateway one and two, so I'll start with gateway one. So it's these level two percent ants and level three percent ants. So these are set for the waves to wave spawn at the minute. Um, so what I need is two variables, which are constant attack. Annoyingly, I'm not actually going to be able because because it's working off a hundred percent. I'm not going to be able to hit exactly one third each way because it's zero point three 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 recurring. Uh, level three. Okay. Gonna move those on. Uh, yeah, so it's zero, 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 zero there. Then it's going to be fifty percent, and then it's going to be thirty-three percent. I think that'll work. I think that'll work anyway because it rounds. I think it'll be close enough. I think it'll be close enough. We'll have to see, but we should see a level one, then two, then three, then one, then two, then three on insane. Simple enough to test. Just have to get to that point in the level. Okay, so with this, what it's going to do. I'm going to create a new function here, which is uh, a new event. Set up constant attack percentages. Uh, it's part of the gateway, but it it needs to be used by any gateway. To be fair, it can it can be used from gateway two anyway. So basically, all it's going to do, I'm going to take this and set them to that. 
that. Dead simple. And what that should do is cause a variety of ants to spawn. Um, so we need to go to the point just as the constant attack's happening. So here, just before we run the setup function for any of them, going to run that and we need to do the same on level t on gateway 2 so where's the constant attack Okay, I also need to add in the variable setup here as well. So if I just grab this from gate one. I think it's gonna be exactly the same. I don't see any reason to change the percentages between gate one and gate two. What I might do though is I lower, lower the spawn times of the ants slightly in gate two. So the constant attack interval Okay, right, we're coming to a point where we can run some tests. Um, again, I'll rerun the test I ran yesterday first, which is gate one. And other than errors, what I'm looking for is on insane mode, I'm looking for during the constant attack, ants to come out in the order level one, two, three, one, two, three, or it might be a slightly different order, like three, two, one, or two, one, three, something like that, but it's irrelevant as long as it's spawning different ants each time, different level of ants each time. Okay, so here we go. desktop audio a bit. Accrediting a Puska colony now. I will let ten do it to start with. As 
identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Introducing 20 Formica Fusca. Okay. You still see Li all Liam's uh, have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment. Let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 amps at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. Because the colony is completely overpowered, I actually don't need to, uh... do anything. I wonder how they will react to a rival Repticon. Introducing 40 rival See, Reptans. The spawn down here is really good. It's fine. But up here... I think something about the way Liam's changed the movement code now. Excellent. Um Introducing a further rival reptiles. Maybe that could be slightly better. I'm not sure what these green orbs represent. Maybe it's when it's tried to get a random point that isn't accessible. Might be. Like they're spawning back there, they should really be spawning here. So you can't see anything at all. Now let's try sixty raptor ants. Just gonna check because I am playing on insane. Let's have a look at some of what we've got. So if there's more level ones that are meant to spawn, there should be a lot of ones that just spawn at level one. To start with. Okay, so it's level two there. Uh, I think on insane, there's more level twos than level ones. Does that make sense? So here they're all level twos. Then here's the first level three. What we should start seeing now is level twos and threes be mixed together. So that's level three, that's level two, that's level two, that's level three yet. Yeah, it's doing exactly what I thought it'd do. Level two, and then right at the very end, because they're the least, the level ones should start coming in. So that looks like a level one to me. Yeah. There's another level one. There's level two. There's level three. Level one. Level two. Level three. And we should just see them come out in that order from then on. It's good when something does what you expect it to do. <laughs> When they send the black ants. You're doing admirably, my Erectus. Perhaps a small reward. Look to the surface. Looks like the nuts. Hmm, what about a combination of a raptor and a fusca? So here, the spawning's massively off up here. I think it. I suspect it's probably because it's done on. 
Everything's now tile based. It's probably shifted it towards the center of the tile. How's everyone doing, by the way? Once again, our Chat's quiet at the moment. I've actually just switched to the new dashboard on Twitch. So, does someone want to say something so I can check that the actual new dashboard uh, chat works and I'm not just not seeing anyone's uh, responses? Hello. to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder how would they handle a sustained Okay, so this is what I wanted to check. Okay, we're on insane mode, so it should literally be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, something along those lines. One. 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 One, one, uh, two. <laughs> okay. Two, three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like, looks like the chat's working fine. Thanks, freeze free. Right, I'll explain what I think's happened here, and I can probably, uh, Verify it with the maths. One, two, three. Okay, so basically there was a chunk of ones at the beginning. Specifically the first level two. Happened. Um, here. So, so that's the first proper level one. So we have one, two, three, four, five that happened beforehand. Now, I had to split it into um, into 30, 0.33s for the percentages. Now 0 0.33 plus 0 0.33 is 0 0.66. Now, 100% minus 66% is 34%. So the total ants that are level 1 are actually 1% 1 higher than the other ants. One percentage point doesn't seem that much, but when I put 500 ants into the uh, into the queue to spawn 1% of, of 500 is 5 ants. So there we go. That's why there's 5 level 1s before we get anything else. Now, I could add some more 3s in. So instead of 0 0.33, we could have 0 0.3333. That will probably get us closer. Because 0, 100 minus... Uh, three, th three, three point three three plus three, three point three three is is thirty three point 
So let's do that. Let's add some extra threes in. That should give us less of these other ants at the beginning. Uh, I'm not going to finish this test because this is what I was testing. And then we'll move on. Okay, so here. That should give us probably one, maybe one extra run. And I'll do the same way with gateway one as well. Rather than five extra level one ants. Cool. Okay. So, next on the agenda is the additional attacks that come with Gateway 2. So yesterday we approached the additional attacks that come with Gateway 1. Today we're going to look at the Gateway 2 ones. Balancing these is going to be a little bit finicky, I think. We'll deal with that when we get there. Um, okay, so this is gateway one. We've dealt with this. We don't want to go do anything to, to, to that at the minute. Gateway two. Okay. So. Roof. Uh, double attack wave. Another wave. Another wave, constant joint attack. Okay, so here here comes the, the stuff. Right. I think he's meant to send one in. Although I'm not sure. See, they're small tiger beetles there. That's a big, he sends a big one in. Then he sends a couple of small ones in. Then he sends the spiders. I think that's all it is. Now, he, he, he states the number of spiders that he st sends in. I'm not sure he does with the tiger beetles. Actually, I think I have the script somewhere. Let me have a look at the script so I can verify this. Yeah. Give me two minutes.
Formicarium narration. So that's mission one. Formicarium gate mission two, here we are. 40 roof rounds, 50 roof rounds. Blah, blah, blah. That's the sustained flow. Well, what's this? A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. Okay, so he does, he says, a giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. So the first tiger beetle that comes in, we can't edit. Then he sends two more in and says, and another, and another, oh no, three tiger beetles. So, what we can do is we can turn them into large tiger beetles in harder modes. And he also says the exact number of wolf spiders that spawn. So, we're going to have to be clever with this and we're going to have to turn them into... Uh, into larger ones rather than switching it around. Um, so this is the tiger beetle, that's the first one. I, I can't, I don't want to change that on any of the difficulties, but this here, Okay, so we, we're sending in a, the big beach tiger beetles there. Uh, and we're going to create a couple of variables here. So this one's going to be called um, small tiger beetle drop. No. This one's going to be large tiger beetle no. Okay, so that is initially two. That's going to be initially zero. Uh, and then again, we need to do it with with this. So it's going to be seven. Small beach wolf spider. That was two, was it? And then one large. Well, yeah, that, that adds up to 10. Okay, so there's three. There's five variables I can play with in the difficulty settings. There's no devil's, devil's coach horse attacks during Gateway 2, so I can get rid of those. We've just got to make sure we stick stick to the rules of what the guy says, which is a little bit annoying. It's the way it goes, because we're not re-recording the audio. Hello, Daniel Sly. B 
Good to have you with us. Good to have you back with us. How you doing? Um, well, I'm doing the, um, all the free play things, right? Well, the, the new map in free play still needs work. The features are all there. The new map hasn't been touched in a long time and there's been a few rule changes, which is going to make some things in the new map a little bit awkward. I'll explain shortly we might need to rethink a couple of things with the new map but saying everything's done it's not exactly true i mean I'm, I'm still doing stuff now. I'm, I'm adding difficulty settings to the formicarium challenges at the moment. So that's, uh, so that will be in the update, but it's, it's, it's not quite done yet. It is going to be a big update though. It's going to be an update that covers, that affects every aspect of the game really in some way. So the headline features of the update are going to be Leaf cutters in free play, a new free play map, um, new free play features, and uh, and the ability to share your free play setups. Um, so there's a bunch of free play stuff there. Then there's uh, chal um, difficulty modes added to form the carrying challenges one and two, uh, movement code overhaul, uh, which which will uh, in improve everyone's performance. Um, What other headline features have changed? Oh, uh, extra levels. Um, so extra levels have been added, um, which we'll be adding to as time goes on. So these are all kind of headline features, which um, particularly the movement code should, ha should have an impact on every aspect of the game. Movement code's still in the works, but it's getting really close now. Okay. So these these settings are currently set up for the... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in normal, I'm going to... In easy, I'm going to make one less medium one more small to make easy slightly easier normal can stay the same in hard we're gonna have uh, one one more large tiger beetle and one less small and in in same we're gonna have two more large and two less small um, and with the and with the uh, this so seven six five, four, six, five we'll have five there so that gives me two to play with here I think I'll have two large and three medium and in, in insane we'll have three small. Give me five to play with. I think four large. Three medium, is that right? Four. Yeah. So that should be pretty damn hard <laughs> and insane. And the tunnel exit as well has been updated. All the ramps will be updated. At 
some point I'm going to need to compile a change list for this, but it, it's going to be massive. It really is going to be a massive change list. The change list will probably be bigger than when we release the Fire Ant update, because the Fire Ant update, as much as it's got more content, it won't be... It w we will have already released all the stuff to do with movement code and that, so I actually think this interim update is going to be big. The fact that I I'm, I'm actually think there's going to be one more update between this free play update and the Fire Ant update. So there'll be one which adds the challenge mode to, um, to tier 3, which we still haven't uh, done yet. And at the same time, I think we'll be adding the Velvet Worm into that one as well. So that won't be with this. That won't be with the free play update, but it will come the next update. And that one will be paved in the way for the next one. <laughs> you want to add an impossible difficulty. <laughs> I haven't actually thought about that before, like doing um, a really hard version of levels, like one ones that do some weird stuff like throw in some Ubers around the place and uh, and stuff like that. Maybe do it so uh, you can take your former carrion colony into them. Just think thoughts that have gone through my head. Okay, I think we're ready for, to run a test now. Uh, my guess is that I'm not going to beat this on Insane. I know I could do the first tier on Insane easily, but I don't think this colony is far enough ahead that it will be able to do tier 2 on Insane. Particularly with the wolf spider stuff I've added there. Having four big wolf spiders is going to be absolutely nuts. In fact, it might be worth trying to fight on the outside. Anyway, let's see anyway. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the feeder colonies. I thought I saw some f um, food on the surface on the mini map then, but it's just a speck on my monitor. <laughs> Introduce 20 for me Kafuska ants. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. I should keep an eye when the wood ants spawn, whether they're central or not. Can I open this up a bit so my I see they haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. The Rufa will be more aggressive. Our Eraptors will need to put up a strong defense. Adding 20 Rufa ants. So my Rufas can see a bit better. Once again, our Eraptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment as before. But don't push the colony too hard. Of course not. That would be irresponsible. I've still got the uh, ants with the power of the force. 
introducing 40 Rupa ants. I'm using a game that uh, was already set up. I get what you mean. I'm, I'm not. I'm not actually balancing at the minute. I'm just testing. It's actually doing what I'm. What I was expecting. Hmm. I'm thinking about um, doing some changes as well with. Uh, God, they're going mental. Increasing to fifty Rupa ants. God, they love that corner, don't they? Point that one out to Liam. Oh, I was meant to watch them spawning. Oh, they look like they're spawning fine from this one. I do get what you mean. I think they packed in. I, I. Swiftly, my little ants. Now, let's see how they handle the Rupa and the Fusca invaders. We will start with. Uh, I should, should. Oh dear. Engage them on the surface. Well, hopefully these will be able to take this lot out and split forces and all that. Specifically, I want. I was thinking about how I could make rapid fire ants more uh, viable in um, in form carrying challenge three. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time, introducing thirty of each: Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor ants. Uh, so, I was thinking, uh, perhaps giving uh, the rapid fires the ability to reduce damage from the opponents. Oh, A little helping hand for what comes next. Collect it quickly. Faster, faster. Just one of. Uh, so maybe when they hit an opponent, like if if they've been hit by a, a wood ant, they've got a reduced attack damage. Let's see. That said, that's also meant to be an ability for fire ants. And I don't want to tread on their toes because the way that... Oh God, look at the speed of the sustained flow. God, that's mad. You are doing well, my intrepid I, did, I did put it really quick. A giant tiger beetle has oh, joined the fray. Movement glitch. Oh my god, I've got a bug. Quite a bug. <laughs> oh, it's tanking my FPS. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Stop the test. Oh, it's crashed. <sighs> it's just crashed on garbage collection. It's all right. Be fine. Uh. 
Oh. Right, well that was a uh, that was an interesting bug. Okay, so what 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 just happened? <laughs> Ah, oh, this was something I thought might happen. Wait, what happens if this function is called with zero passed in? Because I don't think that's ever happened before. So it runs a for loop with first deck index one, final index. Okay, so before I do anything, That's some protection there. So it's got to be greater than zero in order for it to try and run that for loop. Next. That reminds me of the beta of free play. <laughs> It is there. I've actually introduced more things in free play now to try and reduce the number of creature spawns. So instead, they spawn stronger. Um, it should be coming with the next update. So uh, after certain difficulties, creatures have their stats bumped, bumped up, which is going to create difficulties of its own, but. So less creatures spawn, but they spawn stronger. Okay, so that was the first, that's the first thing to do. Right, okay, I've got, I have a guess at what the issue was. Yep, there it is. So it's not moving on from this stage progress. I, I forgot to reconnect that. Essentially, what that was doing is, without, without increasing, it was constantly rerunning this line of code. So it was just constantly spawning more and more and more. So, okay, that'll solve it. I'm wondering whether the constant, whether the um, the creature spawn rate's too high as well. The the constant attack spawn rate. So let's have a look at that. Zero point four. Okay. I think it was just spawning too many creatures, to be honest. Yeah. But... Do I have any idea of a hundredth wave in free play? I don't think the waves are set, are they, in free play? They're uh, they're randomized. I have no idea what it looks like now. <laughs> I haven't actually changed the wave system. Maybe I should actually look at that and then at higher levels like just spawn Ubers, spawn just a few Ubers. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh Let's rerun the test. That's why we test things. The colony 
seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare. Someone got to weigh 50 today. <laughs> Mad. Let's ease them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 for me Kafuska ants. The Fusta colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. Right. Back in a moment. I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. But I think it'll be. I think my colony will survive these in the early waves. No problem. Just gonna grab. Wait. I see they haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. The Rufa will be more aggressive. The raptors will need to put up a strong defense. Adding 20 Rufa ants. Once again, our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment as before. But don't push the colony too hard. Of course not. That would be irresponsible. Introducing 40 Rufa. Excellent defense. Increasing to fifty Rufa ants. Be unfair to help the colony out. Perhaps. But I'm willing to. Collect your seeds swiftly, my little ants. Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. We will start with 30 for each. Wonderful victory on two fronts. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Introducing 30 of each. Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor Ant.
good. I'm a dude. Who's been the hand for what comes next? Collect it quickly. Faster, faster. I wonder how long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. <laughs> Let's see. How are we doing? How are we dealing? We're in a constant, we're in a constant attack. Guy right, managed to get right to the back line. Okay, so there should be two more. That's interesting. I managed to get so far behind. I kind of like it though. Okay, we need to get closer to the queen for this next bit. Because we're going to get hit by the um, spiders in a second. And there's four big ones. Oh god. All right, it's okay. We can fight them here. This is this is a reasonable place to fight them, I think. Still got lots of food. Comments off for them, so my workers are, st are still replenishing the eggs. Yeah, the tiger beetle's gone down finally. Also thinking of allowing the mortars to hit the floor and still do damage. Work, my but Not if I was to do that, I'd reduce their their overall damage. Okay, the spiders are in. Spiders. It hardly seems fair. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. God, frame rate's completely tanked. There's a big one right next to the queen, which I'm not liking. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. This one's going down. That's good. Right. If we can get these mortars to deal with some of the some of this mess here. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Okay, hopefully the queen's abilities will save me here. Oh, it's the the. Oh my god. Have we got the royal guard? Yeah. Hopefully the Royal Guard can take out these spiders. Oh, and everything's popping. That's my army back. Is it, I don't think it's going to be enough. So many enemies. Might be enough. You never know. Still spiders alive. The Queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> okay, that was a bit mental. <laughs> Make rapid fire slow down attack speed instead of movement speed. To encounter the army ants. Um, okay, so there's an issue with slowing down attack speed. Because I was recently looking into this for fire ants. I think one of their abilities was to reduce... It was meant to be to reduce the attack speed of the attackers. Um, and the issue is, it's, 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 an, it's an amount of effort. Um, 
Oh, that's a lot of ants. I think I'm going to have to reduce it a bit. I know my frame rate's pretty low, but I am running an editor with a lot of debug information coming out. Each one of those debug spheres is actually uh, quite uh, heavy. They're all over the place with this many creatures. Okay, so, so just to mention, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, attack speed. So slowing down attack speed is a bit tricky because the way attack speed works is intrinsically tied to the animations of the creatures. Now I tied it in, I tied the basic attack speed in with, uh, well, let's have a look. I, th I think I am going to have to reduce the, uh, the rate of the spawns a bit. I think it's too, it's just so many amps, it's insane. Maybe that's what we want though. Maybe insane mode should be that hard. I don't know. Um so yeah, if we if we have a look at attack speed for a second and how the stats affect it. Uh I think I'll need to go into C for this think maybe not let's have a look anyway Yeah, I, 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 I'm thinking maybe that is fine for insane, because there'll be some people out there who want to really min max their army and figure out the right combinations to do it. This is uh, there'll be a cheat. I'm gonna add achievements in for doing um, for doing the former Karen challenges on insane as well. So there'll be a reason for people to start new colonies and go back. What am I doing? I think I held out fairly well then actually considering all things considered. Uh, yeah, it, it probably is if you if you take your time with it. To be fair, I wasn't really paying much attention. I wasn't even here for the first part of it, so I probably lost a load of resources doing that. I still have resources in the bank, though, you have to remember, so maybe what I needed was more workers. Um, or to fight the spiders on the surface. That possibly might help, because this, this, the whole spider spreading out across your nest thing actually causes a lot of damage. So if you can hold the surface, it might actually work out better. It's things things to try, I guess. 
but to be fair, I'm not I'm I'm not an, an insane standard player. I'm normally a hard standard player, so maybe if I can beat hard, it, sh it should be fine. Uh, What I was doing. Do they? If you meet them on the surface, they should engage you on the surface. I don't think they run past you, do they? They don't run past you until they're into the nest. As soon as they're underground, they, they, they run past ants until they get to a nursery. And then they follow the kind of... Um, go to a nursery, kill everything, go to another nursery, kill everything. They do that ten times, I think, and then they head for the queen. And they've also got a timer that they can't attack the queen in. I think it's something like a minute, two minutes. Yeah, it might be the amount of enemy ants. You can't, you might not be able to stop them. Yeah. We shall see. Okay, so what's the plan? I can't remember. I really can't remember what I was doing it. What I was doing, what the plan was. Okay, so we've got Formicarium 2 now has difficulty settings in to some extent. They'll need adjusting and such. I need to do a full playthrough of the game, really. But I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that yet, not until we've got the ramps working properly. As soon as Liam gives me the go-ahead to do that, I'll I'll be ready to jump into a full playthrough. Uh, what's the next thing on the list? I'm sure there was something I was planning on doing. The whole stopping spiders on the surface is actually really useful in 2-1 because the attacks where the spiders ravage your nest you can just you can you can hold them at the at the nest entrance instead outside and they don't spread out which makes them which makes them so much easier to deal with okay so oh yeah that's what I was doing attack speed Right, so let's have a look at, for example, the black ant. So I'm going to have a look at the black ant's um, animation. It's anim BP. This is just an example. I like the yellow world they've set them up in. Um, okay, so it's attack, death animation. 
Uh, here's the state machine. Here's the attack. So there's its three random attacks. So it picks a random attack from the three. Then it plays it at this thing called ant animation rate. which comes from something called ant anim instance proxy. I think it comes from in the C++. Uh, yeah, if we go back into, if we come back into C++, maybe we can uh, find it. I think there's, I th there's, I think there's something called ant animation something. Animation type, oh no, that's just there, uh, types. Uh, animations probably. Right, ant anim instance. So, animation rate. Okay, so this. So there's something called animation rate that sits on the creature by the looks of things, which is where this all comes from. Oh, it looks like we can do it. Okay. So I'm. What what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a effect which reduces the animation speed of uh, basic attacks. So only of basic attacks is it going to affect looks to me like Animation rate set down here as well, but we're not going to affect it there. So any other abilities that aren't basic attacks, this includes wood ants, they won't be affected by it. It also includes fire ants because they don't use a basic attack. It also includes ubers. Maybe it should affect everything. I've got fear that if I make it affect everything in the game, it could break some stuff. See, it could, it could affect, um, Like I say, we could do a stat drop, like uh, I've already got a, uh, uh, something built into the game to reduce damage. It doesn't stack, so the highest damage reduction ability applies. I, th I think we would do exactly the same with this as well.
No, I don't think an I don't think animation rate affects. It doesn't affect everything. Yeah, walking isn't affected by it. That's just affected by the movement speed. The animation rate only affects... Right, we might be able to do this, as long as it's not too bad. Um... Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see if anything messes up. Maybe if we reduce animation rates by 20%, so it's not it's not a massive reduction, but it's something on top of everything else. So you, um, so your rapid fire ants will be reducing incoming damage from everything. Particularly things that attack uh, at a high rate of attack, such as. I think the uh, fire, the um, thingy ants do. Uh, not ants, the, yeah, the army ants do. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. I'm willing to try. Okay, so I wanna make this as light as possible. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna introduce a new stat to creatures, so There'll be one more stat on every creature. However, it won't have to recalculate it. Every ability use is the thought process here. It will just go in with the other ability stuff. Um, okay, there's there's been a, a commit to the source. So I'm going to pull it before I go any further. Tell you what just what just happened. Or has happened today since I started work. Liam has submitted an OG movement checkpoint, so he's done more stuff overground. He hasn't said specifically what it was, but he has done more stuff over overground. Matt has main menu highlight no longer causes reposition of all buttons, small adjustment. Adjustment to the main menu buttons. Okay. I wouldn't mind. So I, 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 we've added in a highlight for new features on the main menu, essentially. So with this new update coming out, uh, free play and extra levels will be highlighted to show that there's new features in there. But other modes will be highlighted and then extra levels inside there. Right, anyway, so first things first, we're going to introduce a, a new stat onto the creatures. Uh, I also need damage types, I think. Checked out, so EOTU damage types. I think that's right. Okay, so in here we we need to find effects. So here's all the effects that are in the game. There's actually loads of different stuff that can happen. We've introduced so much stuff into the game. It's quite crazy the amount of stuff that can that's in there now. Minimum health was something I just added for uh, the fire ants. And that's their ability, basically for three seconds, they can't be go below one health. So basically they they, they get capped minimum health for three seconds when they die, when when they go below zero. 
and that works quite nicely. Right, I'm going to call it anim speed change because if I call it attack speed change, it would suggest it was only basic attack. Okay, next I'm going to add a stat onto the ants. I think it's uh, only a runtime stat that needs to run. Yeah, because uh, the effects will reset it when you load, so we don't need to save or load it. So it's here. All right, well, Copter, good to have you with us. I'm good, thank you. Can't speak for everyone else, but I'm good. I actually had a really productive day yesterday. It's one of those days where I didn't... Uh, I stopped to make dinner in the evening, and then after I've made, uh, made dinner for my family and eaten it, I came right back to work, and I worked until... Uh, Worked until it was time to put my daughter to bed. So I got I got loads done last night. I got um I got uh I, I, I my daughter uh, my mother was up so she was she was helping look after the child. I got a load of the saving and loading stuff done that needed to be done. Uh, that had been introduced from the fire ant changes. You know, you just have those days where you just want to, you just want to crank crank something out. Okay, so there's the anim speed change being added. What we're going to do is we're going to go to effects, a tick effects, is it? Right, so for now, it's only going to be one direction. So, and it's a reduction. So, the lowest anim speed change... Let me let me find where slow speed boost. Uh, 
I'm just going to copy this. One day I might want to go the other way as well, so I might want to make it so you can speed up attacks. But I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> it's miserable here today. It's just like constant rain. Okay, so ten banning speed change is less than the effect dot damage. Then, uh, no. So I'm looking for the lowest number. So if the anim speed is higher than the current one, then we set a new one. So if the current temp anim speed is greater than the effect dot damage, then we set a new one. So so basically here, for example, if we have a, a minus 0 0.1 and a minus 0 0.2 so first time it comes in it go it goes um it goes minus 0 0.1 My, so here so it would say 0 is greater than minus 0 0.1 and so Anim speed change now equals 0 0.1. Next time it comes through, it goes uh, minus 0 0.1 is greater than uh, minus 0 0.2. So it resets it. Yeah, that's that sounds right. The rest of that doesn't need to change. Um, However, right at the very end, when we've got all our effects calculated, then we just do Let me just set it. So that should be fine. Hello, the Carp King. Good to have you back. Already today, we've set up difficulty settings for former Carrion Challenge Two. However, I still need to do. I still need to set up achievements for those, but I'll do those some other time. Uh, so I'll, I'll scribble that down in my book, just as a side task I need to do. Okay, so that should be done. Next, we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna create a new effect. So give me one second and I will open what I need to open. 
which is the effects. Okay, just a, a warning, I'm probably going to be ending the stream in about 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes, because that will be two hours stream then, which is longer than I intended to stream for. So between 15 and 20 minutes. Obviously, I'll test what I'm doing before we go. So probably whenever this task is done, that'll be the end of today's stream. Okay, so just give me one moment. Uh, data it's effects. Now, I only want this to come from level three rapid fire ants. So I'm going to apply it the same way, in the same uh, vein as the slow. Uh, I think it's going to be about 20%, but to test it, I'm, also, I'm going to whack it up to 50%, just so it's really obvious that we can see that it's working. Just give me a moment, I'll bring you into the, uh, the effect stat sheet. That looks fine. In you come. So I'm just going to add one in. Here. Would I be... And in slow three. So it's a, oh God, what did I call it? Anim speed change, something like that. Yeah, it's anim speed change. So it's an anim speed change. It is, is it length? 0 0.3 seconds, it's probably fine because you're hitting them rapidly enough for it to not make a difference. Uh, damage. Now, it's going to reduce the anim speed. I, was, I said 50% to start with, didn't I? By 50%. So that should be fine. Let me copy and paste that text. So I've got the name of it before I close this. Uh, next. I need to add it to the abilities provided to them. What 
What was the other effect called? Oh, what was it called? All right, open the spreadsheet again. called just wood ant be slow three so I would have expected that to be in here doesn't look like it is Ah, of course, because it's applied at a certain level. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. I don't need to do it, do anything in code to apply it um, at a certain level. It's just another spreadsheet. So it's creature... Uh, I think it's affects abilities that the abilities affects link spreadsheet. So one second, let me open that one up. That needs to go there. That needs to go there. Take the numbers. Would that be slow? Would that be anim slow? I think that's fine. We'll test it. We'll test it. It's all good. It's all good. I think I've already pulled updates. So we're going to run the engine now. When it's booted, we are going to try it out, I guess. I do worry that this might have funny impact on the game but we'll try it with against multiple different enemies and we'll see what happens I'll, I'm just going to take this into the battle arena spawn some level 3 uh, wood ant, rapid fire wood ants it, it should slow them down by 50% which is not the final figure I'm not giving them the ability to half everything's damage in the game I, th I think I'm going to level it out at 20%. I also think uh, fire ants, what I've done with them already is it give them a damage reduction. I think they'll stick with that. So you'll be able to stack the two, the two damage reductions. So one is a flat damage reduction on the actual attack. Uh, this one is a damage attack, or a, an animation rate slowdown. It'll slow everything down, even uh, praying mantis picking up something to eat. That'll be slowed down, for example. But we'll have to see. We will have to see.
miserable weather. So, anyone got any games they're looking forward to coming out soon? My uh, head's very much in shadow keep still at the moment. I know some people have been disappointed by it, but I, I'm really enjoying the expansion. It's a PvE primary player. Shadow keep's really uh, holding my interest at the moment, particularly with the dungeon coming out on Tuesday. Got some games sitting in my Steam library that I intend to play at some point. I've got Two Point Hospital, I bought it in a sale. But I haven't got around to giving it a go yet. Whilst we've got a moment now, I'm going to um, have a look at the source code, uh, the commits in the source code again, just to go through a few of the, the most recent changes that have gone, that have gone up so man, I'm not going too far back in time this is the 17th Matt's, Matt added ramp updates so new collision and node setup uh, he intended to smooth it out in the coming days I did a lot of the groundwork for the fire ants uh, and their abilities. Liam did an overground movement checkpoint. Me again doing multiple tenancy for tiles. Dealing with the UI issues that that brought up. Liam got the tunnel exit, the surface tunnel exit to not, so the ants weren't getting stuck. A milestone moment in his uh, surface. You're spending the last money in your Steam wallet on the market. Uh, remove it. As you can, remove the dud surface tunnel exit. I removed the old surface tunnel exit. Made the surface tunnel exit compile update proof. Oh, so if you compile whilst running the game, uh, it won't crash, which is always good. I had a big commit yesterday. This is why one from, when was this submitted? It's like eight o'clock at night. So fire ant tile info saves correctly. Multiple occupancy tiles are now taken into account when saving and loading. I'm loading an old save. Ants are teleported out of the tunnel exit into the middle, into the top middle of them, uh, as a resources in order so the new tunnel exit doesn't break. People save games so ants don't fall through the floor. Difficulty settings added to form aquarium challenge one. Right. At that point, I still need to do the perform care and challenge too. <laughs> I played Don't Starve together for a very brief amount of time. Never, uh, never really got into it. I do like survival games, though. I, 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 I like. Uh, what's it called? Hinter, no, um, The Long Dark. By, by Hinterland Studios. That's, I think they're, they've they got a similarity to our game in an extent in that they're taking their time to really produce something polished, but, it's, but it is taking them a long time. 1,000 hours in Don't, don't Starve. Nice. 
That's impressive. I wonder what I have in Destiny. It's it. You can't tell anymore because they've just moved it from Battle.net, so I can't tell how long I'm in Destiny. I remember back in. Uh, Two hundred hours of D T single player. Let's start single player. Oh, nice. I remember back when I was heavily into World of Warcraft. Back in the day, my slash played is on like was on like a year. <laughs> oh. Errors in the build, apparently. Right, let's do some debugging. I, I don't think this is going to be hard. I'll have just forgot something. Yeah, there we are. There's an extra semicolon there. Solved. Shouldn't take as long to do but to compile this time. So I'm essentially going to give this a test, and that'll be that'll be it for the stream, I think, today. Yeah, it look, looks like it's built this time. Although it's letting a load of symbols, so this might take it a minute. Oh, I never finished going through the list. Matt's fixed the spider web in the in the menu, so clicking the spider level. Something recently broke it. I don't know what it was, but something broke it. It's not broken in the live version. Don't worry. I just noticed myself when uh, when trying to um, play. When trying to click it, because I saw it in the menu that it didn't work in the in the development version, but Matt's fixed that anyway. Uh, Liam's done another overground movement checkpoint. Yeah, Matt's done main menu highlight no longer causes the reposition of all the buttons and some small adjustments to the main menu highlight. Next update is going to be mad. Like it's going to be the the list of changes is going to be huge. That said, a lot of it is just the movement overhaul, and people aren't going to know the detail, the ins and outs of that. I'm not going to need to list everything because hopefully, I mean, people will notice a, a change in the movement. I'm sure the veteran players will notice that ants are taking slightly different routes than they used to be. Uh, and that's because the movement's now based on the tiles rather than the uh, rather than just a nav mesh. However, you shouldn't notice too much of a difference. Oh, 
the engine just boot in now and then we'll test and that'll be us done for the day. don't use that uh, the background thing much anymore or the full cam That doesn't work. Okay, so we're importing the changes coming from the CSV file changes. So give me a second. That's done. Okay. All right, let's see if this works. I have no idea. Well, I have some idea. Level three. Rapid fire. See if that works. I think that works. It's difficult to tell. <laughs> because that thing's got very fast attack speed. But I guess if I Pit them against mortars. I don't think it worked. I really don't think that worked. Looking at it now, that looks exactly the same. Let me just check for a start that they've got the ability. I haven't looked up there. There's the anim slow. Okay, so once he's been hit, let's have a look at the effects on him. There, he's got an anim slow. Uh, no. No, he doesn't. Oh, idiot. Sorry. Um, I never added in... Um, something I forgot to do.
So there's the slowdown here, which makes the effect tick off. However, I haven't actually added it into the... Here. Okay, hang on. Refresh a slow and speed boost cooldown rather than just applying another. I see. So basically, if the effect... Yeah, if the effect is the same effect, it doesn't actually apply loads of them, it just... But either way, exactly the same situation for this. Uh, just check. I want to check that the minimum health, oh, minimum health, of course, minimum health is applied by yourself, so it's applied in a different location than damages, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. Right, I haven't made a massive change there so hopefully it, it, compiling won't take too long <laughs> hold your click to activate an uber i'm not going to do that at the moment but yeah sorry that that is in there if you didn't know You've, you've got to hold it down for five seconds, I believe, so it's quite a long time. It's more, it's, it's in there kind of like as a little secret. I believe it's on the large beach wolf spider, the large beach tiger beetle, the devil's coach horse adult, and the large hermit crab, the medium hermit crab, whatever it is, whatever. Yeah, that's working. Okay, there we go. Now, I definitely think 50% reduction is too high. For this, and I think it's, it's gonna be a 20%. So I'll reduce it to 20%. For now, I've also got to make a note to there's there's a couple there's a, something else that isn't documented in the game, and the reason I haven't done it yet is because I it'll need to be translated as well, 
And that's the taunting leaf cutter mages heal themselves when they taunt slightly. So this will be another one to add to that list. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm going to quickly give give the give it a go uh, at twenty percent rather than fifty percent. Fifty percent is a real. Obviously, that made it really obvious for us to see, but that's too much. I think it's too much. I'm not going to bother bringing the CSV up this time because this will only take me a second. Okay, so that's 20% attack speed reduction. Come back into the engine, yeah, it wants to import it. Oh, I did bring it up. See if it's noticeable. It's much less noticeable than 50%. I'll see, it might need some tweaking. Maybe, I, maybe we can go up to 30% or something. You'll certainly feel it in large battles, I think. That'll do for today. Uh, thanks very much for joining me. Um, it was nice to have uh, nice to have people interacting in chat as always. Um, so as for next week, just a reminder of something I said yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna get a stream in on Tuesday next week. I'm not entirely what your t what time, but I won't be here. I won't be here. Um, on Thursday or Friday. So I'm going to try and do Tuesday. So hopefully see you then. Um, I'll be I'll be tweaking that attack speed thing, but also that that's going to be another thing that's going to need to be um, figured out a bit in uh, in the testing period, like the. the the testing period for this update is going to be so crucial because so many moving parts have changed. Anyway, thanks very much for joining and I will catch you hopefully on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, see you then. Ta-ra.